Hi guys, so we're back with another video and we are talking about highlighters. I talked about this in my bronzers video, this container. This is a four drawer container from the container store. I mean, my vanity is a bit messy, messy at the moment, but I wanted to show you all what's in here. The top drawer, these are my primers. Um, these are concealers and like lash glue, some odds and ends. These are my liquid highlighter. No, this is my. I have some highlighters in here, but mostly lip and brow products. It's a little bit everywhere right now because I have my items kind of contained because Joseph has been getting into my stuff. And when we move, I'll at least already have it in the container. But this is where I store most of my highlighters. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. Okay, so these are all of my powder highlighters. I know, all right. So um, I'm going to do this one a little bit different than I did the bronzers. If you have not watched any of Jessica Bronze, like she is so intense with her declutters. It's amazing to see and how she deciphers. I'm going to try it that way just because I am going to get rid of some or I'm going to pass these on. I will be probably selling these and putting these on a block sale. I did do that with my palettes. I'm probably going to go through my palettes again, you guys. So look out for that. But we're going to go through and pick up the ones that I absolutely love and tell you the reason why and then declutter from there. So, of course, I'm going to start from the palettes. Now, before I started with the small stuff, but I know I'm not getting rid of most of these palettes because I absolutely love these. And yeah, let's just start. So the first one, this is the latest one to my collection. This is the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I absolutely love it. I did do a first impressions and I also did a tutorial using this. I love this palette. This is not going anywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. I did do swatches. Uh, so you can check that out. I'm trying not gonna, I'm going to try not to swatch. I said try because that's going to be kind of hard. But this one is absolutely beautiful. So this one is staying. Um, those of you that maybe have some texture, this one is a different formula, I feel like, than the Glow Kit, the Glow Kits. And this is the Glow Kit Sweets. This is the only, these are the only two Anastasia palettes that I have. I do have some illuminators, but these are absolutely beautiful. I love these because you can depot these and they are great to go in a makeup kit. If you are a makeup artist, these pans are amazing. You do get more product in the this than you do this. And I talked about that in the review. Of course, I'm going to list any reviews that I have of any of these illuminators. So yeah, these two are staying. Another palette that's going to stay. Now, I put this eyeshadow palette, but it has four highlighters in here. And this is the Carly Bybel palette. This is not the deluxe. I am going to get, I did get the deluxe. It's on its way. But this has like a uh, two cool tone and then a to like warm tone this is like a more golden bronze i feel like that this is a palette and the deluxe palette are going to have some of these in there so if you are a woman of color this is going to be a palette for you if you want it to be affordable i love the fact that carly Babel is her palette is limited edition but it's going to be in ulta stores for a year so that is super cool it's where everybody can get a chance to get it i would pass on other palettes this is kind of like a two-in-one. This is like my go-to palette. I cannot start going through this, but I think I'm going to project pan this one just because I'm getting the deluxe one. And yeah, this is discontinued. It has a mirror in here, um, but the deluxe is just as big and better. It's more shadows, more highlighters. So yeah, 
gonna keep this one this one is the tardiest glow I did get this at gem beauty in our swag bag but I want to be very careful because when I got it the lit color I want to say that's lit it was broken but don't worry I'm gonna figure out how to press this and press it back in there I love that it has two mirrors it's great for travel I'm just probably gonna either gonna press it or put it in a container and with a meal on it and just make it into a loose powder but um, you have a contour and a cream contour two highlight well four highlights so I am gonna keep this it smells like chocolate I can smell it and I really like the packaging so yeah that's another one I'm gonna keep so pretty much the palettes I am gonna keep this hourglass I love this now y'all this one is a great one if you have a kit and you have brides I usually use that for the under eye just for that illuminating effect I really do love this that's the reason why I actually picked this up was for my brides so um yeah I'm gonna be keeping this we're gonna actually move our way down if you can tell now I'm actually putting the ones that I am going to keep so I can tell you right now looking into my collection the Laura Geller um this is the baked gelato. This is the gilded honey. This is not going anywhere. I really do like how this looks. Although I do have a few that are kind of like dupes to this. I really do love this. And it's baked. I don't have I don't think I have too many baked products, but um, I do have some, but I really do love this and it's great in a small compact for travel. Then I know I'm not gonna get rid of are my makeup forever. These are amazing. This is this these are the pro bra the pro sculpting. But okay, so this is the original, which I love even the bronzer in here, but they listen to the consumers, which is what I love makeup, makeup forever for. And they made this a whole pan because they're amazing. Um, I like to take these as well because they are so beautiful. They have a gold, um, a warm tone and a cool tone. So this is one and this is two and you can see those together this is more like an opal looks reminds me of a seashell opal and this one is like a gold so i am going to keep these the next one that when i look at it like i have to keep is my mac this is taraji this, no, this is Taraji Highlight the Truth. This was a limited edition from MAC, but it looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. Um, it's a very unique color just because it's like a rose gold pink, but it looks amazing um, on us women of color tan skin. It looks so pretty. And whenever I put this on, it looks so and good. And I'm also going to keep, these are the two Wet n Wild highlighters I'm definitely keeping. This is the Crown of My uh, crown of my canopy and my precious petals I do plan on doing one tutorials with some of these brands so I am gonna at least keep one of each brand just so I can do uh, one brand tutorials for you guys but I'm gonna keep these wet and wild and OG this is my physician's formula this is the shimmer nude nude natural highlight palette now I actually decluttered the one before but this is a great highlighter from the drugstore it's amazing for eyeshadows too um, I think I'm going to actually pass this one on because I love it I love it I love it but I don't think I'm going to do a one brand tutorial with physicians formula because they don't have I could do a face but they don't have like complexion products I think I'm gonna pass this on I think I am okay let me go to these Anastasia because I have the palettes let me see if I want to keep these okay now I'm gonna show you something I love these illuminators I do but I think both of these I have in the sweets palette at least that's called taffy but it looks a lot like peach nectar and then this one reminds me of butterscotch these like melt into the skin okay and these were actually I love 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 these but I love these better so I am thinking I'm going to pass these along I gotta get rid of something and I don't want to say I gotta get I have to get rid of something but I do want to downsize my collection so these two 
I think these are a powder too. If I were to keep one, this is so Hollywood. So the Hollywood is so good though too. This one just, I just feel like I would get, oh, they glide on. They're like butter. Y'all see that? <gasps> Another one. Beverly Hills Ofra. Y'all are sleeping on this highlighter. This is amazing. Um, this one gives glow like no other. I love it. Now, a lot of these colors are in my Sweets palette, my Anastasia, but Ofra, y'all, it it's a new love. So I'm going to keep this one. This is from Micah Beauty Cosmetics. This is a face and body in sunlight. I got this from IMS, but this is such a beautiful highlight. There's no way I'm parting with this. I have used it quite a bit, but I do love this one a lot. I'm keeping that one. Another one, this is from the Mariah Carey collection. Y'all see her face is still in there. I am keeping this because my sissy got this for my birthday, first of all. Second of all, this is a gorgeous. This is going to be amazing in the summertime. And women of color, y'all, Mariah did us right with this one. So I'm keeping this one. Another one I'm keeping is my Becca Champagne Pop. Champ um, and I believe this is Moonstone. I thought I had Opal. Yeah, this is Moonstone. I think I'm going to keep see those those are beautiful this one is great for travel so I am going to keep this one as well but this one is uh, champagne pop I'm definitely going to keep these two Jacqueline Hill made me buy it yes I might another one I'm going to keep is the Mac this is from their Nutcracker collection and I got this one um, my sissy sent me this one too and I love this blush amazing reminds me of burnt pepper and this is whisper of guilt so y'all this is not going anywhere I'm so glad pleasure model is what the blush is called and it's an amazing mirror this one it would be great for travel as well so love another that. one that I'm keeping this is from Ofra but this one I really like to use um, I use this on a bride and this is in pink sapphire but it is so so beautiful let me adjust that Y'all see that? So beautiful. And uh, it has a nice sifter. Um, Ofra is great. Um, it's affordable, great products if you have a kit. But this, again, is in Pink Sapphire. I want to say I got this in a boxy charm, but it is amazing. So, yes, I'm going to keep it. The only highlighter that I have from Milani. This is in Strobe Light. No, Day Glow. I love this for during the day. This is a perfect one to use during the daytime. That's not going to give you too much glow, but it's going to give you a nice illuminosity. Illuminosity. Illumination to your skin. This one's very beautiful. I'm going to keep it. That's the only one I have from um from a lot. I never used this, but it looks so much like one of mine uh, that I already have. This is from the Dupe That Girls, You Do You. I think I'm going to declutter this one as well, just because I, I have this one from Ofra that I love a lot better. And I like this color, but um, I have two from Ofra, so I am going to declutter that one. One from Heart Candy, I really did like. And it's beautiful on too. It's a beautiful gold. But I think I'm going to pass this one on as well. Just because um, I really do like it. But I need to <laughs> I need to condense, y'all. We'll see. Let me see between this. You this is from JCAT. This one is called White Goddess. Um, that's a bit powdery when I first went into it. Yeah. It's beautiful, but it does not, I don't think it's, I don't know. I have a lot of colors like this. Reminds me of Albatross, so I am going to pass this one along. The Wet n Wild, this is a Boozy Brunch. This one looks amazing on me. And it has kind of like that pink shimmer in it. I think I'm going to keep this one. That one, uh, that's an OG. I really do love this. This is Albatross by NARS. Now, at first, I used to didn't like this. But because this one actually has a pink and gold shift, I think this is the only really Miss Liberty I have, but it's a bit chunky. This is the only one that I have from NARS. I do want to get hot sand, but I am going to hold on to this one from NARS at the moment. 
This one is the only highlighter I have from Pacifica and it's Golden Lotus. This is a really nice day glow. I am going to keep this one. This is one of my few cruelty free. Um, no, what wall is cruelty free? What am I talking about? Yeah. And so is Becca, I think. But yeah, I'm going to hold on to this because I do want to do a one brand tutorial on Pacifica. Their foundation is not like ideal, but I have found something to darken it up. But I love their complexion products. So I'm going to hold on to this. Note Cosmetics. This one is so beautiful. And this is in the shade Pleasure. And I'm going to keep this one because I want to do a one brand tutorial with Note Cosmetics. I haven't used this one yet. So yeah. How can I forget this one? This is the OG, okay? This is Mary Lou, Mary Lou Luminizer. Mary Lou Luminizer, I'm sorry, by The Balm. This is, this one is so amazing. The Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm. I love this and I will not be parting from this. This one I could use all day long, yes. Keeping that one, let's see, let's, go into this elf one this I'm going to keep because um, this one is my contour palette but I am going to part from this one just because this right here this one is a bit powdery it's more powdery than this one and I'm actually gonna depot this one in here when I get a chance and customize it but these are contour shades um, the highlighting shade is okay but this is what I'm going to, I'm going to customize my own palette and then I'm going to depot it and get rid of this. But um, yeah, so far I'm going to just keep this and customize it and I'm going to declutter this one. Okay, this is Blushed Gems. I'm going to keep this one just because for dupe sake, this one is supposed to be a um soft and gentle it's supposed to be a dupe to that i really do like how this one looks on me too it's really pretty it's that one right there it's so beautiful so and elf i am going to do a one brand tutorial on and i want to have an illuminating one so yes okay so kiko i'm going to keep this one i actually bought this one it reminds you a lot of whisper of guilt but i love the fact that it's whisper of guilt for travel so yeah gonna love and keep that one and I think I'm gonna pass this one on that's a baked product from hard candy this one to me I felt was a bit chunky but I feel like someone younger this if you have texture skin you're not gonna I think you're not gonna like this it's beautiful but it does come off powdery I don't know if you saw that but it's not as buttery as the other ones and smooth that blends into the skin. So this one from Wet n Wild is a no for me. These two, this one is called Chocolate and, wait, Rose, Cro Co Rose Quartz and Chocolate Diamond. This is from the Vintage Je by Le Jessica Leaf Skin. And these are pretty good, y'all. Hmm. This one is rose gold. Oh, this is rose gold too. Wait, is this rose gold? Rose quartz. This is rose gold. Ooh, that's pretty. So those are the three shades. I think I'm going to, and I haven't, I, I think I only wore this once. I need to clean off this. The packaging is so dirty on these. But I think I'm going to hold on to these two and declutter this one. Okay, and surprisingly, y'all going to be surprised about this. I'm going to declutter this one. I know it was limited edition highlight gold bar. I used it once or twice, but I, uh, I don't know. I don't use it as much. I am. I'm going to declutter it. And some people are like, what? What are you talking about, girl? This is from a brand called Luna. Now, this reminds me. Let me see. No, I don't have anything like it. Still. I'm going to keep this one. I liked how that one looked on me. These two are very unique. I might end up depotting these. Okay, so now, finally, we are on to... 
ColourPop. So this is in Candy Man. This one is beautiful for in the winter month, or in the winter, in the summer months. Ooh, see that melted like butter. Did y'all see that? Oh, yes. Okay, so I'm keeping that. This is Wisp. This is an OG. This is probably my most used from, oh, that's pretty. Wisp is pretty too. Or my opulescent. This is Monster and then I have Hippo. Let's see which ones I'm gonna keep. That is Monster. Okay, and this is Hippo. Those are so pretty. I think I'm gonna hold on to the ColourPop ones just because these just like glide on. I like that I can blend them into my skin and they're all different unique colors. So yeah, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Uh, we're getting rid of 11. We're moving them to good homes. Yes. And we have a good collection over here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you hadn't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loves.